barge bite. It's a real barge bite. <laughs> this thing's about 60 yards from us. Looks farther on the GoPro, but it's closer. Oh, he's living flat tonight. Man, another decent fish there. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something I haven't done in a while, and that is night fish. I rarely ever night fish for catfish, but that is the plan. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to throw around back here in this, this tributary. Get on some gizzard shad. Should be fun. It's a little bit cold today, gloomy. It's been raining for the last two days, but uh, we figured we'd go down to the dam and give it a shot. We got a little spike in the water. Uh, it's coming up, so see what we can't do. Let's get on this bait. All right, here goes. First throw. Let's see if we get lucky. decent throw now the bigger and the heavier net is it's gets harder and harder to throw kind of regret not having a five foot there we go we got some bait decent little haul there that'll do Now that I'm down here trying to get my plan together, I've just had a hunch about this spot. It's one of them places where you just get a feeling and it hasn't paid off in like the last five trips, but I'm just gonna put in the work and see if we can't get anything here. We got this, look at this beautiful piece of carp going out. That's a prime piece of bait and a gizzard shad head. And we'll see what happens. That's on the gizzard shad head we just put out. All right. Come on in. Doesn't feel bad at all. I haven't seen him yet. He's staying down. There he is. Go blue. Not a bad one. Being here 10 minutes. We got us a good fish there. Check him out. Awesome. Gizzard shad head. Get this blue back. Man, that's not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. Easy. He's out of here. I'm gonna put a bait right back out in that same spot. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Finally, <laughs> got us a skipjack. What has it been, three videos now? We've been after these? <laughs> we finally get one. Oh my goodness. Yep, there's where you belong. 
all this time we finally get one and we ended up just catching a blue cat on a piece of shit well hooked up again yeah that one uh didn't even give me a chance he just grabbed it and that's uh gizzard shed again we still got the uh, skipjack in the cooler it's that same little hole i always cast in out there you got to hit it just right i don't know if you guys can see or not but there's heavy current out there off the end of that lock and these fish just come in here to get a break until the uh barges come through that kind of messes everything up but there he is Got another decent one another decent fish there Hooked pretty good. It's an ADOT Gama got you circle hook. There we go. Yes. Big fat belly on it. Look at that. Nice. Oh. Fighting me. Boom. Another good one. I'll take that all day down here. Good fish. Nice and healthy fat belly for the spring. They're just pushing up in here. We had that spike in water. And they're just moving on in here. Number two. So right here is that spike of water I was looking for. Just three feet real quick in a day. That's what I like to look for for catfish. Not necessarily the uh, skipjack, but that's what I like to see right there. He's had a big takedown. I don't know if he's still there or not. Think he let go? Or you think he's on there? I missed him. Nope, he's there. He's there. Let's reel down on him real quick. Yep, he's there. He's there. Non stop. That's three. Yes. Oh, yeah. Pull, buddy, pull. I don't mind. That didn't feel good. There he is. He's wrapped around, that's why. Said that didn't feel good. He had my he was just wrapped up. It felt a little funny. Man. Woo! A death roll on me. Oh my goodness. Three. Back to back. on a bait that I don't like using. God bless us today, boys. It's been fun. Number three on the gizzard shad head. Oh, he got me good there. Whew. Get baited up and get another one out there. I'm using shad again, that just, Seems to be on fire tonight. Right in the same spot. Right on that uh, ledge. Then barges come through here and make a steep ledge right there. I mean, you can feel it when your sinker's dropping, if you made it or not. All right, it's probably been 25 minutes since I've caught that last fish. So I'll probably recast these baits. And if I don't get anything in another 20 minutes, we'll uh, either try the skipjack or move. Yeah, it just seemed, seems to have slowed down a little bit. We've got one little pack here, but we'll see what happens.
We are doubled up right now. I think this other one might have came off. Nope, he's still on there. Yep, we've been getting dink taps and they both just went all at once. Oh, don't come off of there, buddy. Don't come off. Yep, there's what's been dinking us. That guy right there. Little blues. Looks like the smaller one's moved in. Let's see if this guy's still here or not. Yep, he's still there. Oh, he just came off. Oh well. That one actually felt like a better fish. Yep. Yeah, I was about 20 minutes there. We were getting dink taps. Finally, we got these little guys. That would have been cool if I'd have got that other one in. But, hey, we got another opportunity to get some more baits out there. So this is a major con of this spot. We have had a big window and a great opportunity to get on these fish. But usually when they start locking through here like this, it means it's time to go, but we'll see what happens. I've still got lines in the water. He is on there. Barge bite. It's a real barge bite. <laughs> this thing's about 60 yards from us. Looks farther on the GoPro, but it's closer. Here we go. Not a bad fish. Let's get this guy in here. Woo. It's been a good day out here. Yeah, we uh, haven't got anything on the skipjack. It's been shad head. All shad head. Didn't even need them skips I've been after. Well, I think we got a surprise fish on here. Just reeling in. We're just on the outro so we can get out of here and there's a fish on here. <laughs> He'll take it. Oh yeah, he must have been biting when I was doing the camera stuff. He doesn't feel bad. Oh yeah. Oh man. That's why we didn't feel him as a flathead. Oh my goodness. Where's the light? Sure was. Didn't even let me know he hit that bait in his mouth. Man, here we go. Oh, he's barely up. Oh, it just broke the light. There we go. I'll take that surprise. Decent little flathead there. Heck yeah. Get him back in the water so we can get out of here. We're packed up and ready to go. It's been a great night. He's going back to where he belongs. Ah, uh, he's a little flathead. Man, they got some power. Whew. 
All right, so a spot like this can be extremely easy to overlook. I overlooked it a few times, but finally managed to come down here and land a few fish and realize it was a good spot. Most people are gonna fish uh, on the main side of the dam, but give it a shot. It could be seasonal, you might not catch anything, and there's other times where you might just have a great night like we did here tonight. But yeah, overall, it was fun, and I really appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.